Hi everybody, it's me Colleen. Today I'm gonna continue on with JoJo! Now in this episode, it starts off with Dio falling off the balcony, slowly disintegrating because of JoJo's hormone. And he, he has to chop off his own head because he didn't want to die. So his head starts falling to the ground and one of his um, minions with the Vegeta hairline uh, sees him and he grabs him and he runs off like a doe running away from a predator. Now, of course, and after that, it shows Jojo and the gang burning their clothes and, um, what's his name? Uh, Speedwagon destroying the mask with, um, a jackhammer. Now, there's a huge time skip here, um, where, um, it shows that Jojo and, um, Maria? Yeah, Maria. Get, get, gets married. Like, yay! Finally, they're together. <laughs> I'm very happy. <laughs> and, yeah, they're married. And another time skip. And D G Jojo <laughs> is um, going... And his wife are going to... Um, their uh, honeymoon, I guess. And it's it shows um, Speedwagon looking at his time, his um, pocket watch, saying, Oh my god, I'm late for a very important date. <laughs> of course, he didn't actually say that. I just thought I would say that. Anyways, he goes running off to the docks. And he was wondering where D uh, Jojo was. No one wants to know where D Dio is. But right as soon as he was running at the docks, this huge, like, chest was being carried by these big buff dudes. And Speedwagon was just bumped into it and fell to the ground. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Now, also, one of the people that were carrying the case were, the chest, were, um hearing noises in the the chest. Like, I, I had a feeling that maybe Dio, Dio's severed head was going to be in there. And I was, well, I'm not going to spoil that quite yet. Anyways, uh, Speedwagon gets up and he sees the kid and his family and also the mentors. Um, and he's like, do you guys know where Jojo is? And the kid's like, they're on the boat. <laughs> and then it shows Jojo and Maria hanging out and waving at their friends. And yeah, it's nice. I'm going to skip ahead um, to... Uh, the, um, Jojo and Maria, like, hanging out at the, the, uh, outside of the boat. Well, not outside, but, you know, not the interior, but the outside. And they have a kiss. They kiss. And I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. Now, while Jojo is being romantic, he was gonna ask, he asked that, Asked, said to Maria that um, dinner was ready and we didn't. They didn't want to be late, so he goes running with uh, Maria and holding his hand, her hand, and he bangs his head on the door frame. And I'm like, oh my god, are you serious right now? <laughs> Wait a ruin the mood <laughs> but it was hilarious either way they were both laughing and so they're at the the dining area and all of a sudden jojo sees um um the 
the recruit, the one with the Vegeta hairline that I was talking about earlier, the vampire dude. And yeah, he was freaked out. He was like, oh my god, Dio is here. I can't believe he's still alive. And he goes running off after this guy, like his life depended on it. And yes, he did. And Maria is very concerned about him. But he, she just sits there. And, yeah, so after Jojo spotted this guy and is in the area that he is in, which is, like, downstairs where the chest, what chest is, and he reveals that Dio was in that chest. And Dio... Of course, there was a lot of monologuing, and yeah, it's, it's, he was practically saying that he wanted JoJo's body because all he was was a severed head in a jar, kind of like in Futurama. And um, yeah, so he has like tendrils in his neck, and he attacks JoJo with those tendrils, and he pierces his neck. So he couldn't use his hormone. <laughs> hormone. And yeah, so while that happened, he was having troubles breathing at the same time. And of course, when Jojo can't breathe, he can't use his hormone. And he's like unable to use it. So in this process, he was there. He was stumped. He couldn't. He didn't know what to do, but he managed to sever the the bad the minion's head. And but at the same time, it wasn't dead. It hold on to the one of the engines on the boat, and out of nowhere, Maria comes into the room that JoJo's in, and she's like freaking out why is she, like bleeding because she he, he was bleeding and she didn't know what to do and jojo said said that you should you know go go with the baby that was motherless at the time um i forgot to mention that Everybody was zombies. There were zombies everywhere. Um, yeah, everyone was biting each other. It was practically the plot of, of the freaking Book of Atlantic. Even though I haven't seen that Black Butler movie yet, I would really like to see it. But yeah, at that point, Jojo cannot do anything. And Maria was absolutely distraught and wit he was just sitting there dying. And as she ran off with the baby, uh, Dio jumps out of his jar and Jojo hugs him and uses his last bit of hormone and completely destroys him. And as... Of course, um, Maria had the brightest idea to go into the ca the cage, or sorry, the chest, because it it could you know it was absolutely indestructible. Even if the hugest explosion will not destroy that thing, so she went into that. And when the boat exploded and Jojo died, sad. Um, she was floating in that, um, she was floating in that, uh, chest, which I find it hard to believe. You'd think something like that would sink right to the bottom of the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean. And yeah, that's the end of this episode. She's carrying the baby and it's just sad to see Jojo go rip. But, of course, the name Jojo continues when I watch the next episode, episode 10, and it's the little boy. 
anyways, I'm sorry about the late, um, uh, video, but I, it's my brother's birthday and I had to spend some time with him. So yeah. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!